Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. I'm not really sure if the Tamdu 15 is rare. 24,000 bottles will be will be released, but it is exactly exotic at the moment because it's only available in Europe and it will soon be available in the States. So this is a sherry exclusive um, maturation. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. I love Tamdu bottles. I actually visited the distillery very, very briefly during my Scotland tour um, at the end of March. They did not have um, real opening hours, and so I just drove by, talked to someone there, and said, Hey, and he said, No problem, come around the back. And he opened up the sliding doors, and I took pictures of the three wash stills and the three spirit stills. This actually uses U.S. and um, uh, European oak. Um, one site says Oroloso Sherry. Um, on, the, on the box it just says here um, Sherry Wood. I have the feeling that they had a little bit of mixture of different um, or a mix of different Sherries and they weren't allowed to say pure Oroloso. 1897 the distillery is founded by a group of assemblers according to my research i don't know what they assembled and then 1899 they were suddenly or very quickly bought up by the highland distillers up until 1927 more or less everything was okay then the plant was moth mothballed until 1947 so 20 years of no distilling matches prohibition world war ii great depression then um, Addington bought them. We know them from Highland Park and McAllen and so on. And then the Addington actually closed down the distillery in 2010. So this 15-year-old bottle was made before they closed down the, 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 the distillery. And then 2011, Ian McLeod came and bought them. Why do we know the name Ian um, McLeod? Because they also own Glen Goyne. I'm the Glen Goyne. Glen Goyne is famous for what? Their sherry cask maturation. Tamdu sherry cask maturation. Very, very good. And so 2012, they started production again. This is whiskey base number 127069. And over here, it's 80 euros. So about $100 is a 15 year old sherry whiskey um from scotland worth a hundred dollars 46 percent and as i said it's a limited release of limited 24,000 bottles worldwide so what am i going to compare it to oh here it is another 15 year old glendronach the revival the new revival is what i thought i would compare it to um this runs maybe about eighty dollars and some um necks of the wood in some areas and so i thought this would be a um worthy gay uh, worthy competitor so now this is not an unbottling i've actually done a video in german already that's what i mainly do my videos i have over a thousand one hundred videos already in german of my tasting of whiskey i'm only about 200 some plus in um, English. Now the very first thing I get, and this is a very nice, this is a very, very um, nutty type of um, Ololoso Sherry. It's very, very, it's not sweet, but it's not very, um, not er it's a little bit almost herbal to be honest. Yeah, there's like some roots and some wood and some nice dark rich chocolate in there. Over here to the Glendronach, Oh, this is even much older. Um, what I get over here sometimes is I get a, a very faint hint of a little bit of sulfur. I don't know. And a little bit of an of a alcohol um, meth, um, um, ethanol moment here. It's much, much... Um, doesn't seem to be as old as the Glendronach. Or let's say the other thing, Glendronach matured in the 15 years more and better than the Tamdu did. <sighs> old oak, old leather, that Pedro Jimenez, the PX, and the Oroloso mix here is just a, just a masterpiece. Glendronach um, is a wonderful, wonderful distillery anyways. So let's try it. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. <laughs> Hot. What really bothers me with the Tamdu 15 is the pepper, the hotness of this whiskey towards the end. It's amazingly hot. If I didn't know better, I would say this is like an eight-year-old whiskey. Um, it comes in fairly nice. That sherry is there, that chocolatey, even a little bit of, I called it um, cash, salted cashews wrapped around in a nice dark chocolate. Mmm. Very, very nice. But then that powerful alcohol just kicks in and destroys, for me, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany, this whole experience. Mm. I'm very, very disappointed in that. And I've tried this whiskey now five different times. And if I dilute it down with water, the, the alcohol rush at the end does disappear, but it just dilutes everything way too much. Just in comparison, the Grand Ronach 15 Revival Mmm. Mmm. Coherent, fruity, nutty, chocolatey. The alcohol just supports everything just a tiny little bit. Just pushes everything up just a tiny little bit and makes everything just nice. This, the, the alcohol comes like a tidal wave and just overflows and just uh, overwhelms your taste buds. Mmm, very, very good. This, in my book, is definitely a B whiskey. Might be a B plus, might be a B. I want to spend a little bit more time with this. This over here is going to turn into, unfortunately, a C plus. Um, put a little bit of water in here. We're going to do five drops today. See if anything changes radically. First of all, on the nose, I get a little bit more of a sour, that milk acidy type of sourness there. And then that sherry moment just kicks in, that nutty or the lozo sherry, fru fruity, dark, rich moment is there. Not the nose that I'd like to spend the next hour with. This, um, in comparison, is much, much better. If you have the money, go for the Glendronach Revival. I would say pass over the Tom Tamdu 15. Mm -hmm. Diluted is a little bit more of a vanilla. Vanilla, it looks, gets a little bit of the oils in there as well. It does tame it. It does calm it down, but it's just not. It's not what I'm looking for in a 46% whiskey. A 46% non-chilled whiskey is a whiskey I want just to just just mas massage my taste buds and give me a wonderful um, experience. This just doesn't do it. I'm very disappointed with this for the price I have to pay for it. 80 euros, $100. I'm going to give it actually a D. A D plus for the value for money and a C, C plus for the taste. And the C plus is actually um, almost a tiny bit too generous. I'm sure in a blind tasting, I would give it more of a C-ish instead of a C plus-ish. <laughs> Over here on the... On your right, my left, this is much, much better. Mmm. Mmm. This is a whiskey I'd pull out only if I have my very good friends over that love whiskey. This is a treat. Mmm. Brown form and don't screw it up, all right? Keep the Glendronach a beautiful, beautiful creature as it is. They took it off the market for a while. It's back, and I really like it. Thank you very much. All right, Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey from the Viewpoint of an American in Germany. Disappointed today and very excited to have the Glen Dronach 15 years old. Please like, please subscribe. Question of the day. What is your favorite 15-year-old Scottish sherry matured whiskey? It can be a maturation for the entire time or it can be a finish. I don't care. What is your favorite 15-year-old Scotch whiskey with sherry maturation, either full or partially. So, Glendronach would be my first guess. I'm sure there's many, many other things I could recommend. All the best. See you later. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Bye-bye.